Hello there guys, and of course a massive emerald welcome to the virtual walk round of our epic E63S finished in Designo Magno Selenite Grey Satin. That isn't a wrap, that is paint, and trust me this car is truly monstrous. Over 600 brake and it delivers it in complete effortless style and with all the noise you would expect. But why should you think about buying this car? Well, let me give you some more info. You've of course got the multi-beam LED headlight system. You've also got front parking sensors and you can see that satin selenite grey looks absolutely incredible. You've got front parking sensors, you've got gloss black styling, honeycomb grille, and you can see moving around, it's a really executive boss level coupe that looks incredible. AMG black grille, that is of course the Panamericana, and you've got the gloss black split ticket, the huge Mercedes black badge in the middle, and further parking sensors all the way around. And moving around, you've got your 20 inch five twin spoke AMG diamond cut alloy wheels with a red AMG caliper, and of course, you've got the big brakes just peeping behind. It is a four litre V8 twin turbo, similar to the C63, but more monstrously tuned. And it is, of course, four matic, which means it's four wheel drive. You've got the gloss black wrapped items just down here just on the wings to give it a nice sumptuous appearance and of course as part of the e63 clap and of course as part of the e63 pack you of course get the really nice flared arches flared side skirts and give it a real sport feel you've got the night pack on this so you've got the black mirror caps just here and you've got the d chrome window surround which of course take away too much executive and too much chrome and give it a really stealthy sumptuous appearance you've got an electronically operated panoramic roof which we won't open fully because it is a little bit wet and rainy here and we don't want to ruin the interior and on top of the door handles you've got the gloss black contrast to the selenite grey so absolutely incredible look in this car if you're after a car that turns heads and creates a statement with a lot of noise and the E63S is certainly the one for you. And that noise comes from these chrome finished AMG performance exhausts, which of course you can turn the valves on and off from within the cabin. You've got rear parking distance control, you've got the Svarkovsky crystal rear lights, and you've got the black pack and black styling on the back of the car as well. You've got reverse camera, you've got 360 camera, and you've got a real nice gloss black diffuser down here that goes gorgeously with all the chrome. You can see that this is no Mickey Mouse car. This isn't a boy's car. This is a bona fide animal. And you can see the gloss black lip spoiler as well. Now lifting the boot up, you can see you click it underneath and it's remotely operated. And you've got the original number plate just there and you've got a really big really long boot which can easily get in golf clubs push chairs buggies shopping you wouldn't put animals in this because it is a flip-up saloon boot lid but you would easily get in anything from going on holiday or long road trips and you also got further storage just underneath with obviously your compressor tank which is the air suspension and you've got all the other items in there to shut it you simply press the button and watch it do its thing. Now you'll see that the car has been meticulously looked after and rightly so. A car of this nature isn't one that you actually want to whip round too much in. It's one that you really would rather drive low and slow and make sure you get noticed and turn heads wherever you go. Free from any dinks, dents or any horror marks that when you turn up, this is the true epitome of German performance. It's practical, it's super stylish, it's aggressively styled, and more than anything, it has a wicked, wicked spec level. So that's the exterior looked at. Let's head on inside and show you all the gizmos that this class leading saloon has to offer. So internally, what does the E63 have to offer? 
just about everything. It's a huge big old interior, but it's probably one of the comfiest cars you will ever, ever sit in. We recently did a video of this on our YouTube against the C63S, the baby brother. And I think it's fair to say, I proved my point and told Mr. Joel Fearing, our Team G Olympic athlete, that he was wrong and this is better than the C63 in every way. You've of course got your hazelnut brown interior, which is an exclusive option, carbon fibre interior with a piano black, flat bottomed multi-spoke, and you've also got your multi-function steering wheel. You've got the gorgeous sweeping dash that is similar to that on the S-Class as well. You've got your IWC clock. You've just got absolutely everything on this. So we'll start on the door. So you can see you've got your Burmeister surround sound or Burmeister. You've got your heating option on your seats. They're electronically operated and adjusted and they've got the memory setting too. Now this button, if you click that button, what that'll do, can't quite see it now, that will enable you to move the passenger seat from within the driving seat. See, so you've got the really nice carbon fibre weave just in there and you've got that really nice hazelnut brown that leads onto the chrome styling. And on here, you've got your electric folding mirrors, electrically adjustable mirrors, deadlock and electric windows. You've got boot release just down here. And you've got your AMG door inlay just there. You've got electronic lumbar support just here, which you can of course change to suit your requirements. But these chairs really do make you feel snug as a bug in a rug from factory. Right, so moving on in. Let's just take a look. So you can see that the car's covered just over 56,000 mile, and this is the display you're greeted with. Now we'll turn the E63 on, which is from the push button start just here, foot on the brake, turn it on, and you are of course met with the thunderous roar. Now down here, you've got many different configuration options. So that is your heated steering wheel. You've also got your lane assist, you've got your parking sensors, and you've got the other options just on here for your vehicle rising, which is of course your airmatic suspension. Now, what you can also do is your gear stick is here. Please, when you're driving these, do not think this is the light stalk or the wipers, because you will crunch your gearbox and be left with a very hefty bill. On this side, you've got your wipers and you've got your indicators. And on here, really clearly stated, you've got your paddle shift for your gears up and down. You can see this button on here changes your instrument cluster. And what you can do, you can change all the different options as and which. So the left hand button controls your media display. The right hand button controls your instrument cluster. So as you can see, you can have many different options on the left-hand display. So you've got your G meter there, you've got your boost, and you've got other boost options. But if you click the home menu, you can change from any of the assistance graphics, and that will give you plenty of different options. Click on home again, do performance, which we've just been on. You can do a trip meter, you've got your consumption, you've got your eco display, you've got your miles per gallon, you've got your average, your reset. I mean, this thing is packed with so much tech, you wouldn't believe. There's far too little time to go through every single option on this, but you'll get a good idea of just what it's capable of. DAB radio, FM, but of course you'll only ever use DAB. You've got your Bluetooth, your media stream, your USB, your auxiliary. You've got so many different options on this. It's unreal. And of course, you've got your Bluetooth there. Now the design, you can change the design and your layout of sport. You can have classic or you can have progressive. Now for me personally, I like the sport option just because I think the gold looks really nice in the center console. For me, we'll stick with performance and you can keep an eye on all the different options you've got. Now this button on here, will change the instrument cluster menu, which can be slightly confusing, but it just means you don't have to do anything directly without taking your hands off the wheel. So you'll see on here, we've got the other options as what we've just gone through on the steering wheel. 
and it's just a bit awkward to try and film and get it on at the same time. So if you go onto the home menu, you can save right. Navigation, you can have that on the full screen if you wish, which is something I would recommend. It's a massive screen, but it's in such good resolution and clarity. It's got real good contrast. It's not at all gets any glare because you've got your little fold down bit here. And it's just really, really simple to use. But that's the navigation we've shown you. We don't really need to go into any detail on that. We've got your radio, which of course we've said earlier, but you can see you've got all your different stations. And if you scroll across onto the left, you can change all your different options. Media, telephone, Mercedes Connect, and of course you've got your vehicle settings. And if you click on there, you can do your climate control. You can do your drive select mode. You can do AMG track pace. You've got your vehicle assistance, consumption, light settings and vehicle settings we're going to vehicle settings very quickly and you can see you've got winter tires tow away interior motion belt lock adjustment lock acoustic lock sorry auto folding mirrors automatic door lock boot lid open limiter i mean the options on this are fully fully stacked it's pretty crazy that this is a car and not a spaceship lighting options you've got of course your ambient lighting which is multicoloured, you can change all the different options and how it's done. We're not going to go through it all, but you can just see that it's absolutely stacked with things and gizmos for you to find. Assistance, you've got traffic sign, camera, brake assist, attention assist, lane assist, blind spot assist, everything that you'd need really, so you could do no wrong on the road. AMG track pace, as it says, is for racetrack only, so please do not use this when you are on the open road. But this basically data logs and gives you all the info of how quick you've been getting on your drag race or doing laps. Moving up, dynamic select, you can configure it individually, and this is of course your transmission, your suspension, your exhaust system, and your stability. This just basically means you can configure it to suit your own mode at the optimum time for the best performance. And somebody beat me to this already, where everything is done in what we will call all out, balls out, race mode. But we will change that to manual because we like flappy paddles. The exhaust system, you've got the options of comfort and sport plus. Sport plus obviously gives it a much louder noise and it gives it a much better sound. So coming off the that one, you've got your climate control as well, where you can change your air freshener and you've got your ionisation. The air freshener, you can see on there, you can change to how, just the frequency and how strong it is into the cabin. But it's a really cool feature, which again is something really different and bespoke to the Mercedes-Benz brand. Now on there, your perfume vial would live in the glove box, just there, but this one doesn't yet have one in so you would have to speak to your mercedes dealer in order to get one now that was vehicle you can of course go on system as well and change different displays the input the audio the connectivity command touch the time and date the language the units personalization software update system backup pin protection info in the system and reset every single thing i've just said back to factory but for now we're just going to put that back onto the sat nav because one, it's a really nice looking bit of kit and two, we've explained everything in enough depth, I think, there. You see, you've got the carbon fibre weave as well in a real high gloss lacquer echoed all across which really does accompany the nice hazelnut brown interior. Going on to the driver's door card, it's a real elegant, classy vehicle that really, really does epitomise the essence of the Mercedes-Benz brand. You've got your air vents here, which need no introduction or no explanation. And here you've got your air conditioning setting. So you've got the severity of the fan, the temperature, where the air is blown into the cabin, automatic. You've got your front windscreen, your rear windscreen, you've got your menu. You can synchronise the dual zone, recirculation, and if you want air con or just manual heating. But you can see that also comes on, on the instrument cluster and the media control, if that's where you want. And you can also see when you click menu, that brings up 
this options on the media system itself. Now moving down, you've got your navigation, radio, media, telephone, vehicle settings, hazard lights, and the really nice IWC Schaffhausen clock. If I've said that right, I will take all your German money. You've got the piano gloss black inlay just here with the AMG branding and the real stylish chrome accessories. And in there, you've got your locking wheel nut, you've got some storage and a 12 volt charger. Now, moving down onto here, you have got your media control system, which is your dynamic drive select, which we have briefly touched upon, but this is how you do it to the standard options. So you've got Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, Race, and of course you've got your individual mode, which we touched on earlier, of which you will have configured yourself. And here you have, of course, got your different settings for your memory. You've got your suspension set up. You've also got traction control off. You've got the volume control. You've got your performance exhaust. So when it's on and when it's off, you can hear it just gives a nice big open baffle noise of which when the exhaust is opened, it makes it a little bit louder. Got auto start stop, which is totally pointless on an E-Class because this is an absolute behemoth. And you've got your parking sensors and camera, which if you click on, will bring you up in the menu box here and you can see all the different camera options. You've got the whole real big camera option on there. You've got your other one on this one, which is a 180 degree. And you've got, of course, your 360 surround camera. You've got one that shows you from both sides of the car. You've also got one at the rear only, and you've got the normal camera with your 360 surround. It is absolutely stacked full of options, and I can't wait for you to come down and see it at head office. Now down here, we've also got the brown hazelnut leather on the armrest, click the button, and you're greeted by an SD card, reader and you've also got two usb ports in there as well so the seats you can see the passenger seat is perforated leather with a brown on brown stitching and you've also got the apple back logo ingrained onto the headrest which is of course the home of amg this is an absolutely incredible invention and Mercedes have blown it out of the park. Now to open and close the pan roof you've got the button here so if you do hold that back you'll see that the pan roof now opens all the way to there and that is of course as far as it goes. You do get the mesh netting come up which obviously stops flies and any debris coming into the cabin and if you get too cold simply the same button that you use to open it hold that forward and that will shut the pan roof and it will also do the sunblind as well if you put it down again so you've got a fixed rear panoramic roof and you've got an electric folding front roof i mean all in all that is pretty impressive now what we'll do we'll jump out into the rear just so i can show you everything in great detail and just prove to you exactly how cool and how nice this really, really is inside. So you can see now you've got the real big balsa seating and you've also got an indentation in here which the driver doesn't feel but that does give you a little bit more leg room in the back. You've got your elasticated covers in there, AMG mats and of course you've got the real big balsa seating in the back with Isofix. You've got extra storage cupboard in the middle as part of the armrest two cup holders and everything that you could possibly want. You've also got your ventilation system in here for the air conditioning coming into the rear and storage just under there. You've also just lastly got your Burmeister surround and an extra tweeter just on the door inlay to ensure nobody misses out on the expertise that the guys at Burmeister deliver when it comes to sound. I mean, as far as a car goes in terms of style, class and pizzazz, I don't think the E63 can really be topped by anything else than the S63. But if you're still not sure, or you still need a little bit of clarification, 
in order to make a decision and maybe this could be a resistance. So we're going to see what powers this absolute weapon and this is what does. The handcrafted 4 litre by turbo AMG engine. I mean there's engine bays and then there's the AMG engine bay. Each engine is of course handcrafted by somebody at AMG Germany and in this case it looks like Michael Badeo. If that's right Michael, shout out to you because this is incredible. You can hear there's no rattles, no ticks, no anything of any concern. Just one great big lump that is ready to blow you into next week. And everything on that engine, as well as cosmetics, is also checked out as soon as any car arrives into stock here at Emerald. And that, of course, means it goes through the patented Emerald 128 point check prior to retailing. Right then, guys, so here we are inside the monstrous behemoth that is the E63S. And we're going to just do a quick virtual test drive so you can see what it's like from a driver's perspective. And you can also get a real nice feel for how it would drive as well. Now the car is quite a big long car so when you're putting out of junctions like this you do need to be careful and cautious of just how far you have pulled out for the simple fact you could be overhanging quite a lot more than what you think. But first thoughts you can see I'm not the smallest of gentlemen to be polite and I am super, super secured in with these big comfy bolster seats finished in the hazelnut brown. They're super comfortable. I've got all my electronic adjustments just here so I can move the front bit up, which is obviously your extended leg rest just there. I can move myself forward, I can move myself back, I can lift myself up, I can put myself down, I can do the chair backwards and you can even control the headrest off there as well. How cool is that? But what else you can do, of course, you've got your button here which controls the passenger seating, which you can't really see, and I've got the heated seat option just here as well. Now, you'll hear, firstly, through the speakers, the Usher Poppy Collar sounds absolutely great through the Burmeister surround. This is, of course, the upgraded sound system for all the 63S models, and it gives it a real crisp and real, real crystal clear sound to any genre of music. But the car itself, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how it drives. So we'll check for wheel wobble at speed. We'll put our brakes on under pressure and we'll do some full left lock, full right lock, and we'll also do some parking. And I'll show you all about the differences in the gearboxes as well and how to use it but we're in comfort mode at the minute you have of course got your different drive select modes which are classed as dynamic select just here and what you're able to do with these is you're able to change it between a comfort setup or you can turn it to all out raw performance now with the e63 of course being a big car it does have four wheel drive which in conditions like this it's really really practical and it's really reassuring because if the back end of this did go you would of course probably struggle unless you're a proper driver to get it back but the formatic plus really really does give you that enhanced reassurance that even in adverse conditions such as this where the roads are really slippery you're not going to lose traction i mean if you are putting your foot down a lot and you're slinging it around corners then yes of course it is still going to happen but what you need to remember is that it's there to help you. It's not there to hamper you. So you can still get all the performance that you would expect, but knowing safely that you're not going to end up in a tree. Now, what you've also got in this is the comfort mode, as I've said, which now doesn't actually feel like an A63. It just feels like a big, comfortable, executive, luxurious, just a nice big car, really. It's not going to be unbelievably good on fuel because it is still a you know it's a four litre twin turbo v8 but it is going to be a lot more economical than when you put it in the likes of race mode or sport plus but it gives you that real nice feeling that you you, you can just enjoy driving it'll automatically you know 
detune for want of a word the engine and the gearbox so it will almost restrict its power outage so it can give you a nice economic as such drive but you can also change that of course into sport which gives you obviously a better engine firmer suspension a different drivetrain and you also get your sports exhaust and you get different esp options now you can go into sport plus or you can go into race mode which switches it to manual mode on your paddle shift and you also have your sport handling mode which means that traction control is off but with a button for the exhaust just down here you also get this noise <laughs> oh yes trust me when i say this thing sounds absolutely insane in race or sport plus mode or when you click that baffle button open for the valve tronic as such and that opens the valves in the exhaust and gives it a real big thunderous roar and that of course comes from the amg performance exhaust now you can individually configure your drive select mode so in race mode on this what it does because of how the previous owner has configured it it automatically flicks into manual mode now you can use manual mode really only one way there isn't like a little gearbox here because your gearbox is on the right stalk but you have to use the flappy paddles so you can see it allows you to rev it as high as you want within its limitations obviously dependent on temperature but it also doesn't you know doesn't restrict you from really making sufficient progress if you will it's really simple to use and for me in a car like this it's the only way that you would really drive it yes it can be a little bit juddery if you're not used to paddle shifts but they are quite simple so you put your both hands on the wheel meaning you've got total control of where the car's going and you just flick it down using the left so that would obviously drop your gears down so i've just gone from third to second to first or i can go up a gear from second into third using the right one but you have total control of this so you can choose where the rev is taken as such to the higher number and you can change when the shift takes place if you don't want this you can change it individually configure or you can knock it back into sport plus and you'll see it will go back to the automatic drive mode as well but you can use a flappy paddle at any time in any mode now what we'll do when we're out of traffic we'll show you a bit of the getting it up to speed which really really doesn't take a long time and we'll just let go of the wheel and you'll be able to see that you'll have the utmost confidence that you don't need any tracking don't need any wheel alignment or anything of that nature now while we are stationary it would be hard not to talk about the display visually that you know confronts you when you get into the e63 and it's just incredible it's such a breathtaking view that you you don't ever really want to get out of course you've got the big comfy heated seats on you've got this real gorgeous sweeping digital display you've got a nav in there you've got your range in there but you can also put on all the different modes if you want by using the steering wheel so you can put in your amg performance you can get your boost gauges you can get everything on there as well but then you've got your big sweeping digital dash display on this side you've got all your ambient lighting which you can clearly see and that sat nav is just epic it's really clear it's real high contrast and it's real real high resolution as well so it just allows you that you're not going to have any issues in visually having you know any any struggle in doing anything it's it's just a real real easy to use high contrast display now we're doing a little bit of a three-point turn but you can see i've got the surround camera system on here which just allows me to easily navigate any tight drives or any tight maneuvers that i need to do with total total ease doesn't mean it's restrictive doesn't mean it's difficult and you've got the 360 camera which is a fantastic aid now we'll just drive up here and we'll get the car up to speed and we'll show you the lack of wheel wobble having it obviously been inspected by our experienced techs at our on-site rac approved facility so in terms of the suspension on the e63s you have of course got the airmatic suspension which will allow you to rise the height of the vehicle 
on the button just down here on the right hand side of the steering wheel and what that'll do is if you go into somewhere you know that's got a lot of speed bumps or a lot of low down you are able to adjust the ride height and increase it so it you know it just doesn't get scuffed because you don't want to spend all this money on a big luxurious whip like this and have it damaged on your first drive it's another way that mercedes have really really taken care of their consumers but what you'll also notice is it's not it's not too firm because you've got the big seating and you've got the real you know springy dampness and real solid suspension set up because it's aromatic you're not thrown and bounced around as you are in maybe it's little brother the c63 so you're not really you know you don't really feel any bumps on the road of course if you've got it in race mode which is you know the sportiest option available then you do feel a bit of a firmness but nothing that's going to knock you out your chair or nothing that people usually associate with performance cars this is it's just a big luxurious cruiser that you'd never really want to get out of. It's a sort of car that you drive to France in and want to stay in and drive all the way back. It's truly, truly epic. Now in terms of functionality, for a driver or passenger or passengers, there's plenty of leg room. It's a massive car, so it's got also on the rear seats, if you've seen our other YouTube video, if not, check it out now with myself and Joel. But it's got grooves in the back of the seat. So if you have got a taller occupant in the back, it simply just allows them to put their knees within the grooves and have further comfort. Just means that Mercedes have thought of everything to restrict anybody having an uncomfortable journey. But in terms of the cabin and the layout, everything's at arm's length. You've got a real nice, comfortable Nappa leather armrest just here which of course opens up for storage and you've got the big padded armrest on the door here which again you can drive super super easily and in super comfort as well just putting your arm there and barely having your hand on the wheel but you can see we're doing 20 miles an hour now take my hand off the wheel and the car drives totally true not pulling to the left or the right and there's no concerns about tracking it's a car that you know it, it comes with a statement feel and it truly truly delivers on that you've also got the button on the right hand side here which gives you your steering assist which of course is part of the handling pack and you've got your lane departure warning and you've also got your parking sensors on and off as well and it's just it's just nice the hazelnut brown with the gloss black and the carbon fiber really is a cool spec whoever owned it before Hats off to you, because it looks incredible. Now, when you are obviously in the different race modes or different drive modes, you'll feel that the E63 can be an absolute animal. It's not one that just wants to be sat there and not played with. It really does want to be able to give you the most that it possibly can. So when you want the E63 to deliver in terms of performance. Let's just see what it does, eh? Oh, you can see that power is instantaneous. It's raw and it's absolutely ballistic. It doesn't blink 0 to 60. It's such a crazy car for one of its size and stature. So we're gonna go down just to an island now. We'll go a full right lock, and then we'll head on to a car park. We'll show you the full left lock. We'll show you obviously the braking under pressure, and we'll just make sure that we've ticked every box of the questions most recently asked. Now, you'll also see on the gear changes when it's in automatic mode, it's not sharp, it's not snappy, it's not throwing you around. Cars, like its rivals, like the M4 and things like that, Obviously you can change the ratio of the gears on there, but they can become really sharp and quite uncomfortable. Now on the island, you'll be able to see now, full turning circle to the left and right. There's no knocking, no juddering, no sliding. It's just a really, really easy car to drive and it's so, so responsive. So like I say, you can see there, as soon as I turn the wheel, it's away, it's good to go. I mean, it's fantastic. It's so effortless to drive, but it's such 
a joy and pleasure to be behind the wheel of. Now what we'll do, we'll head down just to a car park now and we'll do a few left locks as well just so you can see that we've done our all to show you everything that the E63 can offer you. So here we are, so we'll just go around this car park here and you can see full left lock now, full left lock, no judder, no delay, no issues, just a really, really nice, easy turning circle, plenty of scope, it's a tight turning circle as well, a lot of the bigger cars like this, when you put them onto a full lock, it's almost like you have to three point turn at every opportunity, but this one, I'm pleased to say, doesn't have that issue. And there you go. Now what we'll do, we'll get this back up to speed and we'll just do a quick brake check and then we'll head back to base. So we're currently at 30, which is optimum driving. Now if I put the brakes on quick, you'll see stops on a pinhead and it rev matches as well. I mean, it's just a car that does everything. Again, 30 miles an hour, put on the brakes and you've got no problem stopping and slowing down and doing it exactly as you need to really, really quickly. So for a car of its size, you wouldn't expect it to be able to brake, but we're at 30 now, and if I put the brakes on, you see, stops almost instantaneously. The revs and the gears also change as well, so you don't have any issues with your gearbox, but it really is a superb, superb driving machine that just wants to be driven properly it does everything for a car of its size it's so surprising how easy and how responsive it really is when you're in the driving seat so i can't really say enough about it it's practical it's spacious it's got undoubtedly unbelievable performance figures and it's just nice to be in so thank you very much for watching guys hope you've enjoyed it we'll speak to you very soon